The influence of jazz doesn't stop at music. Award-winning, best-selling author Quincy Troop delivered an explosive performance at the Metropolitan Gallery in Midtown St. Louis. It's called Sound Art, a melodic blend of poetry and jazz music. It is not who or what you see, but how you see it. Poet, writer, and performer Quincy Troop returned to his St. Louis roots for a first-time performance as part of the New Art series. Troop teamed up with two St. Louis native jazz greats, baritone saxophonist Hammett Blewett and guitarist Calvin Bell, to deliver a one-of-a-kind performance. Their performance, Sound Art, is a part of the ongoing New Art series. This series integrates the artistry of poetry, visual art, and music. The, the arts, music, poetry, which is essential in a city like St. Louis. I mean, this is essential. I mean, you know, you don't have nothing here that does that, that brings that kind of stuff before an audience. Kelvin is a composer, and he listens to the words, and he tries to make the music specific to the poems. And I swear, it's uncanny. He'll come back with this rhythm. <laughs> With Blewett, it was more free-flowing. He taught me to be free-flowing like that. Since Troop's career began in the 1960s, this multi-award winning best-selling author has written eight volumes of poetry that celebrate jazz, sports, and his life in St. Louis. Rhythms be switching in kitchens when cooks work magic through pots. Out on dance floors, hips gyrate like poets constructing lines, sometimes switching prop from proper to global. Best known for his poetry readings that combine rap, jazz, and bebop rhythms, Troop is also a compelling author. Among his best-selling works are Miles, the autobiography of Miles Davis, which earned him critical praise along with an American Book Award. His memoir, Miles and Me, which is soon to become a major motion picture, also gave him national acclaim. Miles Davis was the most unique person that I have ever met, without a doubt. And I've met a lot of people, Jimi Hendrix, Prince, Michael Jackson, but Miles Davis was absolute genius. Miles Davis impacted world music, not just jazz, world music. We had a unique relationship, and it was one of respect. Davis had a profound impact on Troop, in many ways. How to write and, I mean, you know, you know, take risk, take risk as an artist, take risk as a writer, take risk as a person. He took a risk when he co-wrote the book, The Pursuit of Happiness, the rags to riches story of Chris Gardner. I said, so convince me, or what? I said, convince me I'm supposed to write this book. He said, we're gonna give you some money. I said, that ain't it. That, that, ain't, that ain't it. I said, it's gotta be a story. The Pursuit of Happiness became a New York Times bestseller for 40 weeks and later became a major motion picture film earning actor Will Smith an Oscar nomination. But these blackbirds are special cases since I can't enter the meaning of their language. Are they happy or mad, hungry or sad, making fun of humans like me, listening to them perplexed, trying to decipher their intricate, gathering music packed with jackhammer rhythms, running it down in language so high-pitched it seems close to frenzy, like they're discussing important topics relevant to survival of the entire globe. Though how would we know, since few of us even listen or hear anything we ever say to each other. Language is life because we have to live by the language we speak. I mean, whether it's with your eyes, if you can't speak, if you're mute, you know, or hands, if you're deaf, that's a language. You have to communicate. Animals communicate. That's what I was saying about uh, those in that poem, Blackbirds. A recipient of the 2010 American Book Award for Lifetime Literary Achievement, the 71-year-old troupe gives a stellar performance that's full of fire. As a prolific writer, he has absolutely no intentions of slowing down in the near future. Troop says language is life and life constantly grows. As a writer, he will never stop growing. Language is a living thing. 
It's a living, it's a living thing. It's like flowers. It grows or fruit. You can make, you know, I don't think you can s tell yourself that you're too old to change. Miles Davis was my mentor in that way. He was always changing. And I'm, I think my work is always changing. It's not that I'm trying to keep up with it. I'm just listening and close. You gotta grow. Keep current. Please, please, please. Enter. Heartbeats pulsing as the please, please, please.